Hello everyone, it's Harold once again bringing you another awesome Let's Play. Uh, today we will be playing Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter from the good folks at Bethesda. Um, just had a uh, its three year anniversary. So congratulations to Bethesda on three, three years of Fallout Shelter being up and running. Um, if you guys want to get Fallout Shutter, it is available on your Android or your iOS device. Um, don't think there's a PC version, but you can find it on your Google Play Store and all that. So, uh, as you can see, I have a vault already created, but I'm going to create a new vault for the sake of this video here. Um, and as you can see, it uh, generates the numbers for you if you want it to. But if you want to do like I do and uh, make your own, let's uh, go with vault number one. Or, you know what, let's do vault eight. Um, but yeah, the whole point of this game, uh, is you're the overseer of your own vault, um, you get to make it and to your will or whatever, um, just customize it how you want to, and as you saw just a minute ago, um, the, your vault number being on the door of your vault um, but yeah this video just gives you the rundown of basically everything that I've been saying <laughs> but uh, all right time to get started you see there the please stand by Hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, but uh, I'm going to take and show you the whole deal with this game. So pretty good game if, if you're into this sort of thing I mean if you're or if you're just a fan of the Fallout series shoot I mean because personally I like anything Bethesda does from Skyrim to Fallout to whatever um, Todd Howard I can definitely say is a genius but uh, anyway Come on, let's go, let's go. And uh, this game will also have uh, helpful hints starting out, as you can see here. So, right now it's wanting me to build a power generator. And, boom, there we go. So now here come the vault dwellers. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, my home. Um, I was too busy looking at the dwellers and not at the a little helpful hint here. Now, let's move this over here. Move that one over there. And so, I guess when they get to the 
Oh, here we go. So I have to to click on here or tap. So let's rush through this. And there you go. Power on. Um, now it's going to want me to build a diner here. So let's get that built on the next floor down. And a water treatment plant. There we go. So now. And uh, now, as you can see, here come some more dwellers. Hey, this dude's looking sharp. <laughs> okay, and you want to check and see what they're good at before you assign them to any specific room here. So let's go ahead and put him at the water treatment plant. And this guy here. Let's see, where can we put you? Living quarters, the water treatment plant. He looks like a better candidate for the water treatment plant or to assign to living quarters. Oh, and look at that. Completed. Get a few bottle caps. That's the interesting thing about this game, it being a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, they don't use gold or any other currency like Skyrim or Grand Theft Auto or any of those kind of games. Um, their currency is bottle caps. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. It's different for most game series. Okay, so I guess we'll assign her to... Okay. Hmm. Looks like she'd be best for putting at the diner to work. And let's see what uh, he's good at. Oh, definitely a food industry person. Now, for this one. Now, she would definitely be qualified for water treatment plant. Okay, so... Yeah, put her at the water treatment plant. Where she would be more qualified. But did I assign him right though? I guess that's good enough. Yeah, so anyway, here we go like we got some more dwellers just one so looks like living quarters it is and there we go of the but let's go ahead and rush through this here uh oh and so now the room's on fire <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes the rush thing can be a good thing for you, and sometimes it can totally suck. <laughs> so, there we go. And now let's try this again, though. 
Make sure your dwellers don't run out of food or any of their resources, their power, water, all that. So, let's see, completed. We got us a little, one of these briefcase things. water globe so you can find all kinds of stuff you get all through all kinds of stuff through these little cases whether it be resources or more dwellers like you see here weapons So, here we go, um, okay, and it looks like we're going to need more space in all the rooms, just about, so, let's build on to the living quarters here, the living quarters only hold so much, so, oh, and look at there, these two have leveled up here. Completed. Oh, and another briefcase. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to get that one later. Let's expand our power generator here. There we go. Expand the dining area. And here we go. Now. <laughs> for the tr okay this is not going to be very good as a dining hall worker obviously um so either living quarters or right here for the sorry um Okay, so now let's, let's see, he's more qualified for the living quarters. But now these guys, if you want to, have places they can go. He can go to over here to the power generator. And what do we have here? Okay. So, looks like he can do the power, the water, or the food. So, but which one is he? Okay, so, um,. We might be better off putting him right here if we're not full. I don't think we are. No, we're not. Thank you, God. <laughs> but uh, now let's uh, expand. Oops. Okay, looks like I won't be expanding too much of anything. But uh, anyway, let's check our briefcase thing that we got earlier here. Raider armor. So I say you can get even clothes with this. Uh oh, special item. And looks like we have a Giddy Up Buttercup. I think that's like a. Yeah, that goes in your junk stuff. Like I said, you get more resources, currency, and look at there, um, more weapons. So, anyway, well, let's get that first. But you can take the items that you're not using at the moment. Want to keep the weapons? Um, but you can take your junk here and sell it. And look at there. 
there goes more currency, more battle caps for you. So now let's uh, start equipping some weapons here. Let's equip this guy with something cool, like a combat shotgun. And equip this one. And apparently we got something else. Um, and look at there. More bottle caps here. So also, if uh, I'm just going to pick on this guy here. Use him as an example. And you can take your dwellers here and send them out so you can evict them or you can choose to explore the wasteland here so here he goes he's gonna go out the door and also when they do go out the door to explore the wasteland uh oh another reward here um, when they go and explore the wasteland you can track their progress see um, wasteland expedition started the that way looks promising so everything they're thinking or doing you get notified on your uh, thing here um, now we're going to take and expand our water treatment facility like I had originally planned to do. There we go. Just didn't have enough bottle caps. Oh, and it looks like we got us a, some more stuff here. Let's see what we got. We have a microscope. We have a some more water. More bottle caps here. And look at this, an armored vault suit. So, and then the Republic robes. So, stocking up on clothes here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's equip an armored vault suit to this guy here. Or no? Um, let's give one of our water treatment people that. Let's equip it to her. And there we go. It's just that easy. Oh, this guy has leveled up. And... What can we do with him? We got more workspace now. Oh, but still he's better qualified for the living quarters. You can uh, take your... Uh, let's put her with our dweller in here. You can uh, repopulate the uh, world. Of course, it doesn't show anything, so for you pervs out there. <laughs> but, uh, okay, they don't seem to be bonding too well. Oh, hold on. So, as you can see here. They start, the dwellers start talking, and then they, but it's that simple. Um, so, anyway, uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, I hope you had enjoyed this video. Um, take care, and see you next time.